In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I get my audio sounding from this to this. Now this is what I use. It's a Zoom H5 portable recorder. Now if you don't have one of these, it's all good. I'm going to show you a way to get better audio quality than your standard GoPro microphone. And I'll show you how at the end of the vid. There are a whole bunch of portable recorders on the market. Have a research on audio quality and find the one that suits you and your budget best. I picked up the Zoom H5 because I've used them before and I know how versatile they are. Plus I can use it as an interface for when I want to lay down a bass line. You can use it for Foley. And you can also use it as a microphone for doing voiceovers like I am right now. G'day guys. There are a couple of methods I use for syncing up audio. The first one is direct line in. This is a great simple method if you have a camera with a shoe mount and you want to get footage and crisp audio of your bike idling. It's simple because the audio is written directly on the camera's SD card, meaning that there is no syncing necessary. If you don't have a camera with a shoe mount, it's all good. I'll show you how to do it in just a second, along with syncing. First, mount your microphone to your camera and plug it into your microphone input. Turn the camera and microphone on. Now we need to dial in the volume or gain input settings on both the microphone and camera so that the audio level doesn't peak, resulting in distorted audio quality. This is referred to as clipping in the audio world and should be avoided at all costs. You got the line for your microphone as well. If you take that right down, you'll see the bars are just dropping. Turn it back up a little bit again. And she's cranking, woo! That's what I mean about clipping. See how much it's just pumping up there? This is what clipping audio sounds like. It's all distorted, it's horrible, and you will know that it's doing it by the bars just like smashing off the grid, man. Redlining, going, ah, oh, you must stop this! This is so bad! No good, we do not want. So bring that back down here to get like a nice, nice soft balance here because these pipes are loud. So I'm going to want it to be fairly down. And then you want to put your windsock over the top just to cut the wind noise out as much as possible, which is this little bad boy here. This is from Zoom as well. They're only like 15 bucks or something. These ones cut out the wind way better than the others. Look at that. Little fluffy troll boy. If you'd like to take it a step further, you can plug in a set of headphones to hear exactly what your microphone is hearing. Now I highly suggest doing this, especially if it's your first time using an audio recorder, just so you can hear exactly what the microphone is hearing so that you can dial in the settings correctly, take note, and you can use them later on. And also, you might not be hearing something in the background that's happening. There might be some dude mowing the lawn, which you haven't really thought about. As soon as you put the cans on, you can hear that. You can hear the plane flying overhead. You can hear all this other stuff going on behind you. And it makes you realize how much audio is actually picked up by the microphone. It may take a couple of tries to get it right, but experiment with it. See what it sounds like when the levels are too high or too low. Low. Familiarize yourself and make a note of the settings you use for future reference. Just remember to leave some headroom if you want to crack the throttle. It gets real loud real fast. Method 2. Syncing. First, I turn on my GoPro, then I turn on my external mic and dial in the settings. Because the microphone will be in my backpack, the settings will be slightly different and will require a little more gain. Once dialed in, I hit record on both the devices and immediately clap in front of my face so that the GoPro sees it and the microphone hears it. This is your sync marker and will help you line up the audio from the microphone and GoPro later in post, which we'll get to in just a sec. Find a good place to hide the microphone. I use this little section of the Bobble B backpack, which works perfectly. Just try to keep it away from as much wind as possible or from any rattles that may be inside your bag. It's like this stuff makes heaps of noise. So if I just sat that in there by itself, it would just be rattling around, sounding horrible, like listen to, listen to that sound. We don't want that. So we load it up with some rags or whatever you got lying around. I'm using a buff here just in case it gets cold and there's another beanie. Lay it down in there like that. Um, sorry. I put it this way because that's the way the exhaust is going to be. This is the way that it works best for me. You guys can try out something else. If you have a little spot where you can stick it underneath your seat or in a little cowl or something like that, see what you can come up with to pull the best audio possible. I use a Purple Panda microphone that's in my helmet and that's what I use for all of my motor vlogging bits. But I also use this to my advantage when mixing my audio and post and I'll show you guys how. First, once you've imported your GoPro footage into your timeline, I'm using Final Cut Pro X. You just want to scrub your marker until you find the clap point. You can see the peak in the audio there. That's exactly where I clapped. And then hit M on the keyboard and that'll mark that exact point. You want to do the same with your external mic audio. Drag it into your timeline and do the exact same thing. Once you've marked them both, then you just line up the markers and presto, you have yourself some synced audio to your video. 
Once I'm happy with the levels, I will add a graphic equalizer to both the audio sources, the external microphone and the GoPro helmet mic. This is just so I can get the audio sounding exactly how I want it. And then I'll save that EQ for future use. Now what I usually do when I'm mixing the audio is I like to get a bit of level from the helmet and mix it in with the external microphone. I find that sometimes the external mic's a little bit too clean. You just don't get that feeling that you are actually riding. But the helmet delivers a different type of sound, so you get a bit of that wind noise and a bit more of that top end. If you don't have a microphone in your helmet, just try mixing in some of the GoPro audio. Now I can hear you guys saying, well, Leave a hammer, I don't have one of these. And I don't have Final Cut Pro or Premiere or whatever you're using. Now at the start of the vid I mentioned how you can actually get better audio without using all of this fancy stuff and that is by using your internal microphone that's in your helmet. Yes, you're going to need to buy something. You can't just use the GoPro audio because the GoPro audio just isn't there, hey. Because we all know it sucks, especially when you hit the wind noise, the thing kicks in and it just sounds like garbage. These aren't that expensive. You plug this into your GoPro, stick it under your seat somewhere, and go for a rip and see how you go. I did it for the first time just today. Okay, so I've never actually done this before. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how it turns out. So this is the Purple Panda microphone. This is a brand spanker. I've still got one in my helmet, but this is a good opportunity to try this out. So you can get away without using the, the old external microphone and save some buckaroonies. Boom. And then that just goes straight into the gully. Alright, I'm going to try it there. It could get a little bit of wind noise, uh, but we'll see how we go. So under the seat didn't work the best for me. You can hear that it's clipping. These pipes are loud, they're very boomy, and it was distorting the microphone. So I moved the microphone from under the seat to the front pocket of my pants. Now it's a little bit better here, but you can still hear the wind noise. You can still hear that it's a bit boomy. So I moved it from the front of my pants to the back pocket of my pants. Which helped with the wind noise, but it was too loud being right there, right next to my pipes. They're pretty loud, pretty boomy, so it's still distorting the audio. So I moved it from the back of my pants to the pocket of my jacket, and I think I found the sweet spot. I mean, that sounds way better than the standard GoPro audio. The downside doing this is that there is no audio level on the GoPro, so you can't just go in there and just lower all the levels so that it won't clip. And also, you do have a bit of a lead just dangling around in front of you. I know you could just tuck that into your jacket. If you want to run this mic on a more permanent basis, you might think about putting it inside the jacket or just hiding the lead completely so you don't have to worry about getting tangled up in it. And another reason why I prefer the dual microphone setup is because I like to have a chat while I ride. What you're going to do then in post is lower the external microphone level so that you can hear my voice nicely. And then once you're done, just raise that level back up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I get the audio from all my riding vids. That's how I try to make it as clear as possible, the best sounding... <laughs> best sounding experience for you guys. Plus I love the sound of my Zards, man, and I wanna to try to do them justice. And if you want more insight on how I use ND filters and all the GoPro sort of tech stuff, make sure to check out this playlist. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more, and I'll see you guys next week. Have a lovely day.